Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving lead code problem 616, add bold tag in string. Before we get into the video, just want to ask you guys to kindly like and comment on the video. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel so I keep growing. All right, you are given a string S and an array of string words. You should add a closed pair of bold tags to wrap the substrings in S that exist in words. If two such substrings overlap, you should wrap them together with only one pair of closed bold tags. If two substrings wrapped by bold tags are consecutive, you should combine them and return S after adding the bold strings. Okay, so we read the question prompt, we know what to do. Now let's look at an example. Okay, so we read the question prompt. Now let's look at two basic examples. So the first one, we're given the string A, B, C, X, Y, Z, one, two, three, and the words are A, B, C, and one, two, three. So we know that uh, A, B, C exists in this string and also one, two, three does. So we would want to put bold tags around these. So the final substring, so we wanna add bold tags in front of A, B, C, so we'd add A, B, uh, so we'd add the bold tag a b c then we want to close the bold tag so close bold uh close the bold tag and oops that should be pointing the other way definitely should know that i'm a full stack developer anyway uh and then we have the x y z and then obviously we have another bold tag and we have one two three and then we have uh we're going to be closing our tag now and that is essentially like our final solution so that one's simple uh, because there's a gap between the two. Uh, what happens now if there's actually not a gap? So let's see what happens. So we have our substring here. Uh, we have, you know, A, A and B. So this is a bit trickier. So A, A actually appears twice. So here to here and here to here. And then we have B, which appears three times in a row. So this one might be a bit tricky. So let's kind of look at each piece individually. So if we wanted to add a bold tag in front of the first AA, we would do that. So we have our bold tag, but then we need a bold tag for you know the next AA, which is also starting here, which is a bit weird. So we'd have like a bold tag and then AA and then a closing bold tag. So because these two are next to each other, we can actually combine them into one. So it just becomes B and then a a a and then we close our bold tag and now we just have to deal with the bbb part and you'll notice that we'll essentially have you know three bold tags in a row for each of the b's and similar to what we had before um we will essentially just combine them into one uh, because it told us that consecutive bold tags should just be con combined into one so it would just be b b b and then we have this and now what we have here is actually a bold tag that's open, A, 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 and then, um, you know, a bold tag. But then we also have the bold tag from here, which is actually going to be so plus uh, B, um, B, 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 and that. But now we have, again, two bold tags next to each other. So if we kind of go over here for the final solution, it should just be one big bold tag because everything is next to each other. So it's just A, 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 B, 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 and then we just close the bold tag. So that is uh, something we have to watch out for, but otherwise not too bad. So let me just clear away all of this um, text here and we can actually think about how we might want to solve this. So let me just get rid of this. Oop, okay, that's fine. We don't need that one. So. Uh, essentially what we're gonna do, and you're not gonna believe how simple this is, but really what this question comes down to is uh, we're gonna create an array of length, uh, whatever the string is. So this is gonna be length of string. And what this array is gonna store at each index is whether or not that character needs to be bold. So it's either gonna be true, true, false, false, true, whatever, right? What we're gonna do then is once we've basically gone through the string one time to figure out this array, um, what we're gonna do then is we're actually going to use a string builder, string builder, okay, that's horrendous. Uh, we're gonna use a string builder to basically just concatenate all of the bold tags based on this uh, array here. Uh, so basically when we see something needs to be wrapped in a bold tag, we're gonna add the tags, and then we're also gonna watch out for the fact that um, we need to concatenate bold tags if they're next to each other. 
But that's all we need to do. The first pass will basically be showing which index needs to be bold. And then on the second pass through, we're going to make sure that those bold indexes are wrapped in a bold tag. And that's all we have to do. This question is relatively simple. There's no like hack to it. Um, you know, the, the final runtime complexity is actually going to be big O of n squared. So there's nothing like crazy uh, you can optimize here. It's just, it's just an annoying problem, to be honest. It's not hard. It's just stupid. Um, anyway, that's enough rambling. Let's now go to the code editor and actually type this up. Again, it's really not that complicated. Okay. We're back in the code editor. Let's type this up. So remember that we're going to need a, an array, which is going to store the status of each index and whether or not that character needs to be bold. So let's define that. So we're going to say bold status is going to equal to a length array of length, uh, s and all of the values are originally going to be false right because we don't know which ones uh, should be true so we're going to set everything to false and create that bold status array now we need to go through for every word in the dictionary we need to actually figure out um, all of the positions that it shows up in our basic examples they only showed up once actually in the second one they showed up multiple times so we need to figure out every single time they show up and set those um, indexes to actually be, um, you know, true in our bold status array. So we're going to say uh, for word in words, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say the start point. So where we found that word is going to be s.find. We're gonna find the word. And uh, what we need to do is we need to essentially go up until the end of the word, right? So we're gonna say end uh, equals to length uh, of word. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to say while start uh, does not equal minus one. And you'll see why we do this in a second. We're going to say for I in range uh, start uh, last, oh, we'll call it end plus start. Uh, actually, maybe this, we just call this length. Actually, this will probably be better. Um, so start plus length. So essentially what we're going to do is for basically the length of the word, uh, starting at the index start and going until start plus length, what we're going to do is we need to set all of those indexes I to be true. So what we're going to do, we're going to say um, bold status of I is going to be equal to true. And um, what we're going to do now is once this loop ends, now we can actually move on to the next word. So we're going to say start equals to s dot find uh, word and then start plus one. So basically we want to find the next um, iteration of the word, right? So we want to go forward now in the actual array. So what we want to do, uh, this will run and it's going to set all of the bold statuses uh, to true. And it, when when the word is no longer found, it'll be just um, equal to minus one. So now what we need to do is actually go through our um, you know string now and actually add the bold tag. So we now need to essentially say uh, our current index, we're just gonna set it equal to zero. So we're gonna parse through our entire string index by index. So we're gonna say while i is actually less than the length of s. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna say if bold status, so if the bold status of the ith index is actually true, then what we're going to do is we actually need to create a string builder here. So let's create that. So we're going to say string build builder equals to just an empty list. And what we're going to do now is we're going to say uh, string builder dot append. So if we need to add a bold tag here, uh, we're going to do that. So we're going to add the bold tag to our string builder. And now we actually just need to go forward and actually add the characters themselves. So we're gonna say while i uh, is actually less than the length of s, and let's kind of just separate this, give it a line break there, uh, and status of i. So basically while we're you know in the block of characters that we need to um, add a bold tag to, uh, and also while we're, you know, still within the bounds of the string, what we want to do is actually um, just keep adding those characters to our string builder. So we're going to say string builder dot append uh, s of i. <clears throat> so we're going to add those characters. And then obviously, we need to keep incrementing our index so we don't get caught in some sort of infinite cycle. 
otherwise, uh, once this while loop breaks, then what we need to do is we need to say string builder dot append and we want to add the actual closing uh, bold string now, right? We open the bold string, we got all of the characters we needed to apply that bold to, and now we simply need to <clears throat> apply this, um, you know, the the closing bold string, sorry. Uh, otherwise, if we're not actually in a uh, place that needs the bold string, then we just want to add the characters as they are to the string builder. So we're going to say string string builder dot append s of i, right? And then we just simply uh, increment our index i here and we're good to go. So the last thing we need to do is simply to just join our string builder together because remember it's a list of strings now and we need a uh, you know a, a single string. So we're going to say uh, you know just empty string dot join and we're going to pass in the string builder and we should be good to go. So I just want to run this make sure I didn't make any stupid syntax mistakes as I sometimes do status. Uh, oh shoot it's called bold status bold status bold status. Okay I think should be fine now. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself again. Okay, looks like it is running on the local test cases. Let us submit this and oh, cool, accept it. All right, perfect. So let's now talk about the uh, time and space complexity here. <clears throat> so the time complexity, as I mentioned in the uh, original part, is going to be big O of n squared. Um, and the reason for this is we essentially have to do all of this searching uh, for basically all of the words in words. Uh, which could actually end up being basically the entire um, string here that we have to search over. So for each word, we then have to do uh, multiple searches inside. So you know, if each word is actually um, you know a single character, and then we have to find those a bunch of times, this is going to be big O of n squared in the time. <clears throat> for the space complexity, we obviously have a string builder. Which is going to be, um, you know, some function of the original length of the string plus however many bold tags we need to add. Um, so because of that, it's just going to be big O of n for the actual bold status. Uh, this is just going to be big O of n because it's just the length of s. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's how you solve this question. Not too complicated, like I said, it's more of one of those annoying questions where you think that there's some crazy optimization you can do and then you kind of realize that big O of n squared is the best you can do. So it's kind of an annoying one in that in that you might spend time trying to come up with something clever, but really it's just a quadratic solution. So anyway, that is how you solve add bold tag in string. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Seriously, you can put whatever you want in the comment section as long as it's not something ridiculous that's going to get flagged by Google. It's totally fine. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and have, oh, actually, um, I have a Discord channel where we talk about all things Fang, lead code preparation, systems design. You can have your resume reviewed by me. You can ask me questions. If that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to join uh, the Discord. I'll leave the link in the description below. And now, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.